I couldn't find the Chad nails for you, so I hope the uh, Brad nails work. It's not like you have to be an amazing artist to pull this off. And gay, you're done. Ew. Yeah. How long's a TikTok? Yeah. So short. Hi guys, my name's Kelsey. And my name's Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls, and today we're doing something really exciting. We've never done it before. A TikTok trends. We are fans of TikTok. <laughs> and there's so many really great art and DIY projects on TikTok that are explained really quickly. And although they look cool, we want to figure out like how to actually do them. Yeah, and I also just want one of them for our loft, mm -hmm. so. So we grabbed two of our favorite TikTok DIYs, and we're going to break them down for you today, show you how they're done, and see if they're actually as easy as they say they are. All right, I will let you get started, but before we get started, if you guys could hit that subscribe button, we'd really appreciate it. We're almost that two million, it's driving me insane how long it's taking. <laughs> and speaking of TikTok, what? Oh, yeah, follow us. We there. have a TikTok account. We make TikTok sometimes. Oh yeah, you'll love them. Just not the dancing ones. Okay, bye. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you get us to two mil, maybe I'll do a dancing TikTok. Oh. How about that? All right, so this TikTok is a really fun trend. I've seen a lot of people do it, and it's something that I've never done before, and I think it looks really fun. So basically what it is, is painting on a canvas, and then on top of that, doing some embroidery. Two things that we really like. I'm excited to try this one out. This one has, oh, I forget how you find the views. Ah! Do you go to their profile? I hate how it doesn't do, like it shows you the likes. But then, what's the views? This one has over 26,000 views and I thought that would give it a try today. So what you need to do this, what, what you need to, words. So what you need to make this is a canvas and some paint and then some embroidery floss as well. Now the one that we saw um, that we're replicating was like an inverse, a uh, neg negative, what's that effect called? Where it's like- Inverted. Yes. It's an inverted color scheme. So what you'll need to do is get embroidery thread and paint that are in the same color and then you can do opposites. Um, so I went in our little cupboard and tried to match paints to embroidery floss the best that I could. This is what I came up with. Um, I don't know what color I should do. Which one do you think I should do? I kind of feel like either the orange or like this one because it matches that wall. That's true. Do you think this is too like this on this though? Do you know what I mean? Will it stand out enough? You can do green. Let's do the green. I mean. It's just not a lot, is that what you're saying? Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know how much it's gonna take. Well here, draw out your thing and then lay it on top of that. Should give you a rough idea. Okay. I love art DIYs like this where it's really broken down into easy steps. So like, it's not like you have to be an amazing artist to pull this off. Um, what you need to do is draw a line drawing that you can then trace later. And if you don't know where to start with that, check out Pinterest. There's so many great examples of simple line drawings or just go on your own, do whatever. The point is to draw something that's kind of one long line. So I'm gonna try and draw a face. I've done this before, we'll link that video. You guys loved it. So I'm gonna do something similar here. What's wrong, baby? <laughs> it's okay. Can you draw line draw Danny? Too difficult. <laughs> Too extreme. Extreme <laughs> mode. <laughs> okay. This is my beautiful face that I drew out. Is it look like me? No. Probably doesn't. Um, give me the look though. You gotta give me like, the vibe. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> Flawless. So the idea is to do embroidery kind of in a stitch line that, that makes this entire shape. So I think if I just kind of lay out what I have and see if it'll roughly go around that, then we'll know. Rough. Do you need white too to go over the parts that are there? Yes, I do. I think we have white. Or I could paint the whole canvas like one of these colors too, yeah. alternatively. See, that is the other thing with these TikToks is like, they explain them, but so quickly that you, you really have to fill in the gaps yourself. Do they really explain them though? No, they don't. Okay, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna I'm gonna, good, I'm golden. Look at that whole wand there. <laughs> Before we get to that whole step, we need to do some painting on here. Now the TikTok used tape and did like squares, geometrical rectangles and stuff, but I wanna be a bit more organic with it. Do my own creative spin on this TikTok. So I'm just gonna do some blobs, beautiful blobs. Wow, guys, editors, I'm like helping you out because I'm doing the zoom in for I'm like, blobs? Blobs. Ew. 
Disgusting! Okay, organic blobs are done. Now it's time to embroider. So I think the technique here is you take your line drawing, put it on the canvas and pre-poke holes before just trying to go for it so that it's a much easier time. And I think also the tip here is to make sure that your holes you poke are evenly spliced. Spliced. And I think the tip here is that making sure that the holes you poke are evenly placed so that your stitching looks clean when we do that next. I feel like it's off-centered weird. I kind of like it. Go for it. Go for it. Are these gonna stay though? Like my fear is that like they're gonna close. <laughs> it's not a piercing. <laughs> I don't know. Like if you put a um like a needle in a piece of fabric and take it out, it's not like right. I guess canvas is just fabric. But you painted it, so that should help. That's true, that's true, that's true. So the way to do the stitching on this is kind of a back stitch. So when you go to start, start actually in your second hole down so that when you bring the needle and thread through, you go back to fill in the space. Then from the underside, move down to the next hole, come up and go back into the hole you came from. So you're always going to the next hole down from the underside, coming up and then going back to the one before it. Okay, so once I've made it through all of my holes, this is how the art looks. And I'm proud to say this was very easy. I was getting nervous as I was poking all the holes through the picture, like this is a lot of holes. It sounds awful. <laughs> but as I actually started to deal with the embroidery, it was, it was quite easy because it was the holes already there. You just kind of fill them in and it looks so legitimate. So uh, thank you TikTok for inspiring this. If you know who actually started this exact um, video trend on TikTok, please let me know below, but we're gonna credit the person we were following for this exact TikTok in the description. So we're going to now tackle this mirror. I am beyond excited. I feel like it doesn't look that hard at all. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, this is gonna look amazing in our loft. We have, we have to build it for the loft. So I did all of the fancy little measurements so that you guys don't have to because TikTok, they don't tell you all the details you need to know, but I'm gonna tell you the details you need to know here so that you can actually make this thing and not just like guess your way through it. So I figured out all the measurements and you only need a couple supplies. So you're gonna go to Ikea and you're gonna get nine packs of their like one foot by one foot squares. These packs come with four squares each. Lots. What are they called? Lots. You're gonna go get lots of lots of mirrors. Oh my God. Let's go to Ikea and get lots. Okay, nine of these. They look like this. Oh, hey. Hi, Becky. Also importantly, go to the hardware store and get some wood. Hardware store. Who built this thing? So we ended up getting two sheets of ply. Now, we're making our mirror really big. You can definitely alter what size mirror you do. But we got two giant pieces of four by eight ply. And we're gonna cut them to make like a, like five-ish by like, seven and a half foot mirror. And then the other thing we need are lots of this. These are one and one sixteenth. Or I measured them and they're two centimeters if you know you just want to be easy. Okay, we're gonna need a lot of these. 11, 12, 13. Okay, let's go. I have my two pieces here. We will give you guys like on the blog all the like materials you need, the proper measurements that if you want to read through everything, it's there. And then I also have just some scrap wood to act as supports because obviously these are two pieces and we need them to be one piece. And I'm just gonna plop one down here, the other one down here. And then I think I'm gonna need to do also a 
cross piece here, which I think I have. Oh, is that gonna work? Well, that might work. Perks of having a workshop office. Oh, it's too big. Oh, it's too big. Hold, please. This'll do, right? Then, we just screw it all together. I have some of my trim pieces cut here. I'm gonna start with like the outside frame and the vertical pieces. So, I cut two pieces, one for the top, one for the bottom, at 162 centimeters, and I cut my vertical pieces at 222.5 centimeters. Again, it will all be on the blog. Don't even listen to me. Why are you listening to me right now? Point is, I cut my pieces, and now I'm going to attach them to my base here. So, we're gonna start with the top and the bottom pieces. We're gonna use some wood glue to attach them, as well as a nail gun. Now, you can use a hammer nail, you can use little baby screws if you want, but I'm gonna use a nail gun because it's quick and easy, but if you don't have one, don't worry, there's other ways around it. Oh hi there, it is the next day and today I'm laying the horizontal pieces of wood and I'm using the mirrors just as placeholders so that I make sure that the spacing is perfect. Okay, today's the day we're gonna finish this mirror. So we're on to the painting step. We're going to first prime it. I think spray paint's just the easiest. It'll take the least amount of time to get in all the nooks and crannies. You really just need to paint the frame portion, not the like inside of the squares, because the mirror's obviously gonna cover that. And this is where we're gonna deviate just a wee bit from the TikToks, and that's because we're gonna go with a green finish instead of a black finish. We're just making this for our own space, and we think that this green is gonna look a little bit more special than the black. So it's all painted. I tried to do every nook and cranny, but I also ran out of paint. So you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? <gasps> I didn't wanna buy a whole new can. Like, we'll just, well, you know, we'll just make sure you can't see like that one spot right there. But if you're doing this project, you might need two cans of spray paint. And I think priming really helped because it took like one and a half cans of primer and then like one can of color, you know? So just make sure you prime properly so that the color doesn't get soaked up into the wood. Anyways, we're ready for our mirrors. So the lots of Ikea mirrors that we got, um, you can put like a little sticky piece on the back. They came with the sticky piece, but I had to put the sticky piece on the back. How dare. How dare. You can always use, like if you got different square pieces, you can use, use mirror mastic, which is like a special glue for mirrors so that it doesn't um, affect the mirror coating. But we're gonna start with the sticky pieces. And we're just gonna hope that it stays on. We're kinda like, this is gonna stay right. I vacuumed it to make sure that it'll stick properly, but we're just gonna start plopping them in. And then it's done. Like, that was pretty easy, right? I know it took a couple days, but like, super easy. All right, you guys, let us know how we did. Did we do these TikToks justice? Should we do more TikTok DIYs in the future is the real question. Which ones have you guys seen that you're like, how do you actually do this though? Because honestly, the TikTok is just an inspo. It's like not gonna teach you how to do it. Oh yeah, we had to reverse engineer these TikToks. Wow. I know, I know. So oh, um, if you see a TikTok on TikTok, is that what we call them? A TikTok on TikTok? That you wanna know how it's done, tag us in it. Yeah. And then if we get enough tags on like a DR TikTok, we'll do it. Mm, how about that? That's smart. <laughs> All right, thanks guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.